Shalom and welcome to Mitzvah Torah. This year is entitled Fulfilling the Mitzvah of Ketivat Sefer Torah, Writing Sefer Torah Through the Partnership. So the previous year we raised some questions about what exactly is this mitzvah. Hardly anyone performs the mitzvah of writing a Sefer Torah. Sometimes you'll find people contributing a few shekels to the writing of a Sefer Torah. They sign a letter, they're together with the sofa, they give $10, $20, $50. Is that a way to fulfill the mitzvah? So Rav Moshe in Yoridea Aleph Kuf Samech 163 discusses this question. And he quotes Pitke Tshuva in Simon Reish Ayin in Yoridea, where he brings down the question, is a shutfus, can a shutfus really work or not? Or Moshe analyzes and says, according to some, a shutfus upon a shutfus doesn't work. And according to others, it may work. And he says that if you have a proper Hoshe Mishpat Shutfus, where you really own it, I think when they go ahead and dedicate some letters, and there's no real ownership there. The, the Torah belongs to the shul or belongs to the owner, whoever wrote the Torah, and you can't do anything about it. It was just a fundraising event. But Rav Moshe says if there is a Shutfus, there is a partnership, then... Maybe there's an ownership there, a partial ownership, a shutfus, a partnership, and maybe, according to some opinions, you would fulfill the mitzvah of writing a Sefer Torah. And he mentions that this mitzvah is a rare mitzvah. People rely on the fact that maybe you could fulfill the mitzvah by writing svarim instead of writing a Sefer Torah. Shek Sa'is's Mutam don't have the precise Torah today, so maybe we'll fulfill it anyway. And the people are lenient. He says, but if you're going to want to be machmir, so if you have that, you can't, but you cannot afford your own Sefer Torah. So then, if you go ahead and you have a halachic partnership where you have a deed of ownership, where you have a certain percentage in the Torah, so then you may fulfill the mitzvah, and he even has an idea that maybe you should go ahead and do both. For you and whatever partners you're involved in, do two things. Have a partnership in the Torah, and also buy sperm together as well. So therefore, you have both. According to the rush, maybe you fulfill the mitzvah through having sperm, regular sperm, not Torah, just regular sperm that you learn from. And according to the other side, that no, when the Rosh says that you have a mitzvah of, of buying regular from that's in addition to writing the Torah. So then, according to those opinions, you are fulfilling it by the partnership. He doesn't mean that according to Tosus, it could be that you have to own, have exclusive ownership to the Torah, then you're not fulfilling that sheet, but at least you have some sheetas. Shalom.